Hello. Uh, as you know, my name is Mr. G. <laughs> Deep, Deep, Deep. Well, you know, I just like that's just my little MC in it. Just trying to like be an MC. <laughs> well, I've done so many videos, um, as you all know, on YouTube, all the way through the years. Um, I'm now going to be doing a blog now, talking about my condition, Asperger syndrome. Um, when I was about age 11, I got diagnosed with this condition called Asperger syndrome. Um, basically, it means that I'm completely different to people who doesn't have the condition. Like, I think differently. Um, I respond quicker to situations. You know, we, we, we have a far more information going through our brains than UNTs out there. Fucking don't know how much information we actually receive a day, but it's fucking shit loads. Hence why we go into something that's called an overload, where our brain becomes so clattered up with information that it just sends you fucking to lally, you know what I mean? Maybe you got to fucking drink loads more alcohol, maybe you've got to fucking take a drug, <laughs> you know, maybe you got to go for a run, you know, maybe you got to go for fucking swimming or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> can be any of those reasons, you know? And it would just be interesting to know what it is like for people who have my condition. How do you cope with going out, going to work, etc, etc, you know, even when you're like, you know, do you go to clubs? You know, you, what about your relationship with your girlfriend? You know, do you struggle having that relationship? Is there anything that would make that relationship more easier? I'd love to know all your own views and opinions on this subject. It's finally now just come. Oh, fucking hell, what can I say now? See, it's fucking hard to say all this shit, right? Because I'm actually speaking from myself as a fucking point of view. Yeah, they finally got a study now, right? That, um, there is actually a cure for Asperger's. They're saying that it could be ecstasy and DMA. Well, I could have told you that ages ago. Now I'll be doing MDMA now, what, for 10 years, I must admit. It is the best thing in the world, you know? It helps me deal with my Asperger syndrome in a way that I never thought possible. You know, I've taken cocaine, that didn't really help, just made me more more hyper and more alert and you know, made, also made me a bit more angry. I tried speed, that just made me just completely off my fucking head, talking fucking so much bollocks to every single fucker and also fucking it can make you very paranoid speed can as well. I know a lot of psychosis of speed. I've never ever touched heroin or crack. I would never ever choose to. I do not believe in those good drugs. I think they should both be banned. I do not believe in them whatsoever. Um, MDMA, I do believe in because it gives me the ability to integrate with other peers of, of my age and older or whatever and it basically gives me the ability to pick up on what they're actually thinking and to join in in the conversations and to feel relaxed around people you would normally feel relaxed around like a massive huge you know room full of people in a, in a club or a rave or a pub you know it is very very difficult having this condition you know and for you to have to take drugs for a you know, it, it, it's bad, like, you know, but unless you're Asperger's, you, you, you ain't got a clue what it's like for people like me. It's day in, day out, you know, you, you never know, you know, what 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 situation is going to happen, where, you know, what sort of people you're going to meet, you know, all that sort of thing, really, do you know what I mean? And it's just, it's just fucking hard work, you know, fucking hard work. For me, doing this video is even more hard work, you know? Because when I got diagnosed at the age of 11, I, you know, I got sent away to this boarding school. You might have heard of it. It's uh, called Southlands. 
and it's in the New Forest in a place called Lymington. Um, and basically it's also it's founded by someone called Angela Nightingale. She's the head of the Wind Centre. She was very, very, very good head she, she was, you know. They did give me all the help that I needed, but the thing is I didn't go back. <laughs> and then, well, look what happened, innit? I chucked my schooling away, could have gone on to, like, uni and everything and that, like, just because of a girl. Because <laughs> I saw one of my Asperger peers, you know, getting with this girl that I was actually with. So, pretty stupid, I actually chucked the whole of my life away for that, you know? And then it then ended up fucking, you know, the situations in courts and handing around with all sort of people and all that sort of shit. But, you know, I'm done with all that now, innit? You know, at the end of the day, when you get to my age, you know, you find out who your real friends are. You know, not every single person you think is your friend is your fucking friend, you know? Do you know what I mean? And Asperger people think that everyone's their friend, you know? But when you get to my age, you, you will see who your true friends are. You've got the friends that will be there for you, will make sure you're all right, and the friends that just, you know, all they care about talking about talking to you about his drugs and taking too many fucking drugs and to tell you the truth it, you know it does your head in you know um a lot of my mates don't take drugs and there's a lot that do my girlfriend didn't really take drugs so she like met me well she did but she finds it difficult to be able to cope going out with someone like me who is different from her who's on drugs she does think that I am more confident and more closer to her when I'm like on the likes of MDMA um, I would say that MDMA you know basically we should we should have all the serotonin in the world you know you know you can take so much methadone you can take so much speed you know your serotonin don't deplete does it we still have a happy time wherever well those two drugs are very like dangerous and they do have a lot of dodgy side effects but it all depends on any drug you know it depends on how much you take and what you what dose you do and all you know what i mean so i'd love to know people's opinion on about this current study hang on let me get in now Yes, the club drug as a treatment for autism. Let me just read out what I wrote, is it? Right. Right, hang on. Let me just let me just like read out with we I I wrote a comment to see, right? And I just need to find it. To be very interested. They're all my all my own words. I'm trying to find, see where I fucking put it now. Um one message is right. How just oh. Hold on, just logging in now, right? <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, now. Right. Who is it? Um, post. Fucking hell, we need glasses soon, people, do you know what I mean? Just to fucking read this shit. Fucking hell. Two messages, anyway. Yeah. There we go, right. I'm autistic and I'm 27. I have been using legal highs and other drugs for 10 years now, and I would never dream of taking oxy, um, cosine or content, whatever. It's they call it love, love in a bottle. You know what I mean? But I don't want to 
fucking get, get really mixed up with that shit, you know. I want to stick to what I fucking, you know, know myself and the stuff that I know. I take that stuff, you know, when I need to. Obviously not every day, because you can't fucking serotonin and shit, you know. Right. It's so difficult times. I'm a regular user of MDMA. It's the only drug that makes me feel normal, right? So it's basically the only drug that makes me physically connect with everyone else around me to cope with situations where there's loads and loads of people, like a bar, busy bar, but so much information to take in and you're on the MDMA, it sort of lessens it, you would have thought it makes it a lot worse, but it lessens it in my, in my opinion. And it makes everything that felt really threatening, it just completely dims it, you know? sort of like blows out the fire, do you know what I mean? And you just relax and you relax with everyone around you and right. Right, and basically when I take into me it makes me feel like I am normal and I haven't got a condition because I get those feelings of empathy and as I said I get more closer to my girlfriend and I also open up about a lot more of my, oh, I can't see this fucking hard. I open up a lot more of my knowledge of the current subject I'm actually discussing at that one time, right? I find it makes me close to others, more chatty and all. I'm not your normal aspy guy, laugh out loud, which I'm not, you know, I, I've been to rage, you know, you've seen all the pictures of me on YouTube. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Fucking, you don't really get come across many people like me. Do you know what I mean? I love raving. I used to go clubbing and all on my own back in the day. I actually used to like go clubbing on my own, you know, when I used to hang up and just, just be, be by myself, in it, like, you know, I can't exactly say Billy Dobie, it's like, cause I'm, you know, I'm far from that now. But back then, you just didn't want to like really associate with many people. I just used to go to all these play, all these clubs in Southampton and that, you know, off my head on stuff. And, do you know what I mean? It, I think drugs have helped me see the world for what it is, you know, otherwise I would have never seen it like that. I have found that if I never ever started taking MDMA in the first place, I wouldn't be myself, and that is quite true. Before I started taking MDMA, I took it when I was, first took it when I was 18, I'm 27 now, um, I felt it's helped me a lot in my life, made, made me have a lot more friends, I feel much more relaxed around people and stuff. Uh, I would get judged and all, because when I'm not on it, I don't feel as connected to the world. But it's why, you know, when I'm not on MDMA, I do feel quiet, I do feel a bit lost. Um, but when I'm on it, I feel like feelings of complete happiness, complete love. And you just want to hug everyone, you just want to get closer to people you never really had the ability to get closer to before and all that. When I do have the proper good MGMA birds, you know, it feels amazing, which it does, you know, it just, it just, I cannot ex ex explain how amazing it feels. As I said, you know, I'm only going to be doing studies and everything, as I said, you know, as I've done before, you know, as you've seen on all my other videos, and if you look at my old ones about how I used to be when I used to take MGMA and how I am now, because I was just a complete <laughs> lunatic before, but I've calmed down a lot since, since that time. It's still bonkers though, you know, you've got to be fucking bonkers, isn't it? That's my personality, you know what I mean? You take your fucking leave it, like. Um, I feel lost when I'm not on MDMA, yeah, I do feel quite not with with myself, not with the world, and I do struggle around people and that, and I've got to have to have that, that my ultimate substance to sort of tune me into the normal world, if you know what I mean. But what is normal, eh, guys? <laughs> you know, your NTs are normal, but we're not fucking normal. No matter how normal we try and be, we'll never get fucking accepted, you know? That's why fucking MDMA makes us just feel connected. And makes you accept us.
I also have my own channel, YouTube channels which I've been doing for years and that I've researched all these different sort of substances and how they can affect me and my Asperger and all which I have is which you see all my videos like you can get all the knowledge off them and all my blogs and everything you know considering you know, like Asperger syndrome I am quite fucking clever and nice and sophisticated all those blogs on about methadone before it got banned and all that and methalone and all that yeah it's, it's shit loads I can't believe how much information I've written on there like that stuff um, I would love to see everyone else's views on this but MDMA is the safest and the happiest drug that you could take if you're an Asperger pity you can't take it all the time because of your serotonin levels they deplete and then you need more you know, what a world would it be like to live, you know, being happy 24-7, but that ain't a life, is it? I feel when I take MDMA, I don't feel as as nervous around others, and I can relax more quickly, and I enjoy myself, without having to worry with the constant worrying that I had before I took the MDMA. MDMA doesn't make me paranoid either. It can get you into some right states, you've got to watch your dose, but it should be legalised to stop all these dodgy legal highs making any more money, because it's con, it, it, they're getting so dodgy now, you know, you know, I used to love Methadone, the best one ever, you know, now they banned it because some idiots didn't know how to take it properly, affected them, we had to suffer because it, and now they're making worse of drugs. Fucking I say, ban all the legal highs, fucking legalise MDMA. Fucking hell, because if you're going to fucking have it cured for Asperger's syndrome, you might as well fucking legalise it, you know what I mean? At least I got my own fuck. at least I got my own fucking cure in myself, innit? I know how to cure myself. Fucking without the cure, you, I wouldn't be fucking anyone, you know? I wouldn't be as I wouldn't be the Mr. G you know with today, you know, or no on YouTube. You know, MDMA has helped me get to that point, you know? And those videos, no, I'm not on um, Mandy all the time, on, on hardly any of them. But it's shown me to be happy and lively because the MTMA has made me feel like that. If you ain't got Asperger's, right, you don't know what it's like for people like, you know, like me who have got it. You know, life is difficult, life is tough, you know. <laughs> like this fucking rock. No, you just, you know, you just gotta like try and fucking think happy and everything like that. But it, you know, all these different medications. You know, why the fuck do I want to be on some stupid medication? You know what I mean? I was born with a brain, this brain disorder. You know, I gotta learn to live with it because there's no cure for it. But if they're saying now it, um, that that basically MDMA is the right cure for Asperger's syndrome, then fucking let's have it, you son. You know, because at the end of the day. People don't know what it's like for people like me to go out to a fucking pub and have to be on fucking MDMA to be able to associate your surroundings, to be able to completely relax where you are. And you cannot do that unless you are on that minority substance. Because you feel lost, you feel paranoid, you feel angry, you feel people are looking at you. And alcohol just makes you fucking worse, Arch, like I mean. Well, anyway, people, I just hope that was a, a, a good um, video for you all. <laughs> I haven't done one in a long time, and it's just sad, you know what? You seem to get stuck a few times, you know, doing this video. Because it is difficult when you are the actual person and it, going into debt with that stuff and shit, you know? And I haven't even taken any fucking drugs. So, you know, it is fucking being very difficult. Anyway, hope you fucking keep those comments coming in, yeah? Well, not hopefully, but you fucking will. I know, and I know, I know there's hope. There's going to be hope for people like out there, like you and me, who gas gas with the syndrome. MDMA is the way forward, people. We should have fucking realised this years ago, and then maybe a lot of us wouldn't have the fucking stressful Asperger leading lives that we have today. Anyway, I'll speak to you later, all people. Yeah, all the best, Mr. G. Look after yourselves.